record-breaking new numbers of confirmed cases in the city. And now the city is entering a new COVID-19 provincial framework this weekend. That means extra restrictions are being carried over from the old modified stage two. And that includes a ban on indoor dining and indoor fitness classes. Now, Morgan Thomas, the general manager of boutique fitness center Sweat and Tonic, which is like just right over there, joins us live this morning. Good morning, Morgan. How are you? Good morning, Melissa. I'm doing all right. How are you? Good. Now, these new restrictions that are coming into effect, which are kind of like the old restrictions that are going to be continued for at least the next 28 days, really affect your business because you guys are all about classes, right? That's correct, yes. And I wonder if you could put us in your shoes. You know that the city is going to be announcing new measures yesterday. Do you turn on the news conference? What are you thinking? And, and what are your th first thoughts when, when you heard the news? We were shocked, honestly. Um, we felt like we've been having really positive conversations, trying to make sure that we understand the requirements and uh, that government officials understand our predicament and also the lengths that we've gone to to uh, ensure that our communities can return safely after the first wave. Um, we, we sort of knew that this was coming and we've done quite a bit of changes throughout our facility. We've installed plexiglass dividers between every single station. We have a full-time cleaning team um, that's professionally trained in disinfection. We have upgraded our indoor air facilities um, to healthcare and hospital grade um, and uh, lots and lots of other upgrades and measures that we've taken to make sure that everyone can safely come and work out not just for their physical fitness, but also for their mental health and well-being. And now, so many of us are watching these announcements that are being made by the government, and you just hinted at something there. You're having conversations with these business, with, with these decision makers. What are those conversations like? I think it's really mostly about helping them to understand what it is that we're offering and what it is that we've put in place to make sure that people can be safe. Um, and also understand our concerns. Obviously, we're a small business, like many other boutique fitness studios in particular. Uh, we're able to very carefully trace and track guests as they come in. They have to pre-register for classes. We know exactly where they are. In our yoga studio, for example, they book a very specific mat in the room. It's socially distanced from all the other mats in the room. And then they don't leave that mat until they're done with class, and then they leave. And, you know, it's all very... Um, very easily traceable. So you're taking these precautions, Morgan, and I'm just wondering if they explain to you personally why they're not allowing classes to go ahead. No, they haven't. So we haven't hadn't heard anything from them since a couple weeks ago before they put out the new overall guidelines from the provincial government, which we were really excited about. You know, we've been asking this entire time for data, for clear information about how they're making their decisions so that we can work together and and uh, and it was all outlined there. We felt like we were so excited that we finally had a plan in place that we could start to make um, decisions and move forward, not just as a, a service to our community, but also as a business in and of ourselves. This is such a tough time for so many people in so many different ways. What are you gonna do now? So now there's not, a, not much that we can do. We launched virtual classes back in March when we first had to shut down. So we've been continuing to upgrade those and, and try to offer as many as we possibly can just to keep our community moving, especially as we move into these winter months. We see mental health become a much larger topic of conversation. You know, we're in the middle of a pandemic. It's obviously very stressful on everyone, but especially people that are used to moving and, and having controlled environments to socialize in. This is really tough. So um, I think we're also going to see some bigger challenges arise from this in that People don't have these safe, controlled environments to see each other, their friends, and, and people that are kind of keeping them going through all of this. Morgan, um, I, I, I really feel for you. I, I really appreciate you giving us some insight, what's happening behind the scenes, and I'm wishing you all the best of luck. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us this morning. That is Morgan from Sweat and Tonic, a gorgeous fitness studio just over here. Hopefully it'll reopen again one day soon. We're going to throw things over to Steph. Hey, Steph. Hey, Mel. Yeah.